have like at least three or four different stages during the development of the vehicle. Each, each stage requires maybe about 80 to 100 hours, and depending on the complexity of the problem. And as far as Elliot joining us, usually he joined us at, toward the end of the tuning session, so he will help us in fine tuning to the right sound, how it was supposed to, especially for the surround sound, he's the only one that knows how surround sound is supposed to sound. Mm -hmm. So he knows the level of the rear surround and the subwoofer level, everything. He said it to the way he likes it. I'm kind of curious, how does he actually communicate to you guys about what he hears? All the, when, whenever he hears something, he can pick whatever, like I, I, I need one K, 2K more higher, 300 less thing like that. Oh, okay. you, you have to remember that he actually makes the CD himself, so mm -hmm. he knows what the CD should sound like in his studio, and he's comparing it to the vehicle itself whenever we're actually doing the system. Right. And uh, when you guys are developing new speaker technology, especially like for, for instance the second generation ELS system, or you, what kind of constraints are you working under, basically? The, uh, there's always a budget constraint, yeah. there's always a time constraint. Mm -hmm. But and but we always try to achieve the best sound quality in that time within that budget also. Mm -hmm. And lots of times you end up putting a lot more into the speaker than we normally planned on in the beginning of the project just so you meet those design goals at the end. Uh, well, what would you say is more important part of the process? Or is it just kind of working together, I mean, the actual components themselves? Or is it uh, this is the tuning process that really ultimately could make the biggest difference? Oh, it's a combination. Yeah, yeah. During the talk tuning session, we always find out that um, for the actual production, we need to do something on the speaker, we need to improve some area. And we also suggest the manufacturers about panel, grill, grill opening, something like that. That's and so. you guys actually have the ability to tell uh, Acura like oh, yeah. about speaker placement? Yeah, yeah. Well, about speaker like placement, a grill type of grill material. We do a lot of uh, grill studies for them and you know judge frequency response and distortion and listen to sound quality you know with them to determine what's the best and what fits into their budget so then their interior guys then actually have to wait a little bit huh in order to work with you guys that's one of the reasons there's there's different processes there's different steps there's a, a first tuning then the second tuning then the third then the fourth and that way you're implementing different ideas during that period of time right and you determine whether that that helps you enough to justify the cost or the time actually to put into that. And most of the time on the, uh, on the early stages, all the parts, panel, trim, everything is still prototype piece, so the hole is not the right hole. And that's why we need to retune everything at the end because the final production intent parts is different.